Hey guys, it's Paul from uh, www.paulnigger.com. I want to intro my blog topic real quick. Before I get to that, I gotta talk about my book, Everything I Thought I Was and What I Came to Be. It's a self-help spirituality book on meditation and my my voyage in my awakening process on how I was able to find uh, value in all the emotions I was going through, anxiety, depression, anger, frustration. We all go through those emotions through different intensities, but how we go through them differs from each individual so this book is a guideline on how to deal with those emotions and actually see value in them so you can check it out on my author website author paulniger.com my last name is n-i-j-a-r so back to my blog my blog topic is something I call not for the faint of heart and this is something that we usually see on the titles of emails before we see something like this is kind of gruesome some images that might be disturbing for us and this was inspired by a video I had watched, which is linked to the bottom of this blog. Um, and it just showcases how these animals are being treated um, horribly. And it's all at the expense of our needs, our desires. So if you look at our life right now, everyone lives a life full of luxuries. All the conveniences we can ever want are at arm's reach. And this is something that used to be reserved just for the royals back in the day, or just the elite rich people. And all these services were provided by slaves or you know low-end people that you know they didn't have that much money so they would just grind away and work for these people um, providing all the needs and services they could ever want and now if you look at in today we all have that we can, it doesn't matter how rich you are we can all indulge like we all got cell phones we can have a car it might not be as nice as a rich person's car but you know we have cars we have a roof overhead for a lot of us and you know this is all great um, but now, like, who, who's supplying it now? And so if you think about it, actually, we still still have people that are working endlessly for other people. We have even children who are losing their childhood, you know, working away so they can provide these, these services and whatever, even clothing for other people. But if it's not humans, then we're looking at animals. If it's not animals, then we're looking at nature. You know, humanity has been known to uh, just kind of ruin or destroy you know our surroundings and we're if we're not doing it on animals our, our humans we're, we're looking to animals and it's a very hard thing to come by like if you think about it like where does your your hair products get tested your makeups or where's what is your clothing made out of you know animals and it's a sad thing this video that I had watched and it was like really affected me and normally I would have been like nah I don't want to watch that it's too disturbing but why you know and I thought to myself I was like this is what keeps it going when people see these images and we've all seen them but we don't do anything about it you know, nothing will change unless we act on it. And that's what we're doing, you know, in an, in an indirect way. We're still funding the organizations and companies that are testing on these animals in a horrible way. We're losing our sense of humanity. You know, if it's not us, it's them. And if, as long as it doesn't affect me directly, then I don't care. You know, that's not the right way to be thinking about it. We need to start realizing that, you know what, these animals that we see and even these trees, there are, they are so much a part of us as any other human. So you know, when we reflect on a beautiful day and it's so sunny outside and we love the warmth of the sun or when it's windy outside and we can feel the breeze and you can, the breeze carries the scent of the flowers or um, just when we walk barefoot in the sand in the hot summer, just the, the sand on the bottom of our soles feels so good. You know, all those feelings that we have are no different from those animals. Actually, because those feelings are a part of those animals. We are just energy. You know, instead of differentiating us from that's an animal, that's a tree, that's a person, that's a table. We are all one. The wind, the sun, the air, everything is all energy based. You know, so although we may feel that it, um, when we test on animals or when we cut down all these trees that it's not affecting us, actually it is affecting us. It's all happening on this one globe we call Earth and it's all affecting us on an emotional state. You know, everything's got emotion. Everything is living um, through energy. So when we hurt the earth or we hurt these animals, we are farming this earth with negative intentions and you know, there's repercussions for that. You might see the erratic nature of um, the weather, you know, uh, and uh, just how we're, the, just the karma that we're accumulating through this, these harmful actions that we cause on one another and on animals. So I just wanted to, you know, bring that to attention rather than turning a blind side to these emails or to these visions and, or videos and not doing anything about it. I wanted to bring attention to that so maybe we can start watching these videos and get affected by it, get emotionally stimulated to, them, to the point where we're, where we're willing to, you know, boycott some companies that are, you know, testing on animals.
So yeah, check out the full blog. It's on my 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 personal website, paulnijer.com, P-A-U-L-N-I-J-A-R.com, and uh, don't forget my book. See ya.